St. Louis, the 20th member of the 500th home run club. I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has, Dave. Some of the pictures we saw from yesterday. Yep. And he hits a high fly ball. This is deep to right field. He has homered for Jose. Circles the bases and now gets the home plate. His very first home run of this season. And he is overcome by emotion again. The long pause. Now the kick, here it comes. Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! He struck him out with a slider! He has tied the Major League record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts! Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens! Nighttime skies over Wrigley Field on the north side of Chicago. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. It's Cubs baseball on the show next. John Lackey gets the starting nod for the Cubs in this one. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's getting close to 200 innings, so I want to see what's his stuff look like. Because when you get to that 200 barrier, that's when guys start to have fatigue set in. The stuff's not as electric. The fastball doesn't explode. The breaking ball doesn't snap. He's moving to that range now, so I'm curious to watch him throw in this game. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. Ready to deliver the one and two. Liner toward right center. Caesar will take care of this one, and Reyes is retired to open up the ball game. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? You want to watch the team put the ball in play? This is the team you want to watch. They are last in the league in strikeouts. One through nine, they put the ball in play. They put pressure on you. It's going to be a fun watch to see how they battle the other team's pitchers. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. His matchup numbers with John Lackey. Seven hits in 34 tries. He's taken him deep once. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Well, Harold, as we take a look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matt, I mean, everything's working for them. They've increased their lead in their division. They're blowing everybody away. The challenge, I think, moving forward is just to stay focused and motivated as they know they're going to be a playoff team. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Rizzo is in his tracks now, two gone. Batting third, the left fielder number Coming 30, to the plate now, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's Lackey's 3-2. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Another payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Schwarber has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So a one, two, three first for John Lackey. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Robert Gesellman, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Harold, what do you got? Well, if you look at his numbers, it's not going to blow you away. But he's an important guy to this team. He eats up innings. He continues to keep them in games. And if he gets a little luck along the way, he may walk away with more wins than losses. So striding in, John Jay. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? 
Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if Kyle Schwarber can keep it going. You know, he's driving in a lot of runs. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 350. That tells me he thrives in those moments. He enjoys it. We'll see if he gets an opportunity to perform with runners on base in this one. Here's Addison Russell. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw in time at first for route number two. Here's Chris Bryant now. Power a big part of this game as he enters this contest number five in the National League home run race. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So Anthony Rizzo will have a chance to bat this inning following the base hit. So the first two batters of the inning go out, and then the three-hitter gets a base hit here, bringing up the middle of the order. This guy's got power. It could be 2 nothing before you blink. Standing in, Anthony Rizzo. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. A runner on first with two away. Shot toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Bryant rounds the corner and is headed home. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. That's why you have to close the door when you can. They had two outs, but the three-hole hitter rips a single, bringing the cleanup man to the plate. And he does what he's paid to do, cash in an RBI opportunity with a well-hit double. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit down the line at first. Rivera picks it up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. At the plate, Joanna Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. That's a nice controlled two strike approach. You cut your swing down and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. Darno. Stepping in now, Travis Darno. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. A runner at first with no outs here. Come on, get him out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Weeks backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Let's take a look at the Cubbies defensively brought to you by Majestic. And down at third base, Chris Bryant, you talk about a tall drink of water. He knocks down everything. He's got the arm strength to play deep. He's got the good hands to catch the ball. But I think it's amazing to be that tall and force him to have to hit the ball over you. Now at the plate, David Wright. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1 0. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down to the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone.
A two run homer for David Wright number 249 career and the Mets move out to a 2 1 lead. Yeah it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys but he's getting hot here in September that bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. In now T.J. Rivera hit hard to the right side foul. Now another 0 2 line to the right side that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Well that right there is perfect for taking the ball inside and shooting Not it the game. other way. You hear Better that terminology hands 12. inside the ball. The only One. way you're going to do that is to pull guard. your hands in hard and stay inside the baseball. Nice piece of hitting. Into the box, Juan Ligares leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. And now a throw to first, and they got him. Never really had a chance with the hit and run on as he gets doubled up on the line drive. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now two to one New York. Now at the plate, Wilson Contreras. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Now another 2 2. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. So stepping in, Matt Caesar. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. It sounds so cliche. It's stayed inside the baseball, but that's a ball in on him, and he just shot it the other way for the base hit. John Lackey. Into the box now. John Lackey now a bunt attempt here to Cabrera for one relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired no runs on a hit no errors and no one left we'll go now to the top of the third Mets out in front two to one stepping into the box Robert Gesellman nine one and two do up. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Heading out towards shallow right. Caesar is there, one away. So with one away in the inning, we'll give you a look at the current standings entering play. As you can see that these guys have a pretty good stranglehold on the division to this point. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. Slider right over the middle taken for a strike. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. And a swing by Reyes as this is hit on the ground out to second. Throw to first gets him and Lackey looks to be in control here. There are two away. The shortstop number 13. Digging in for his second at bat as Dribble Cabrera 0 for 1 here in the early going.
one one pitch coming now to Cabrera and that one right down Main Street a ball and two strikes here's the pitch and this is going to find the crowd down the left field line count holds at one and two well when you're hitting with two strikes you're just in battle mode right there he gets a breaking ball he just fouled it off got a piece of it and stays alive and another foul ball high in the air out to center field Jay has a read on it and that ends the inning strong inning that time out of John Lackey. He's still on the short end of a two to one score. Leading off the inning Jamal Weeks and they'll need him to get something going here. This one's flared out toward left Conforto moving forward. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So with one gone for him here in the inning let's check out our current standings and you can see they enter play with a two game lead in the division race. In now is John Jay. He was called out on strikes to open the home first. Oh and heads up as this is pulled foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. And that one stayed too low apparently. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now batting. Striding in once again, Addison, Addison Russell. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. Once again, a three two. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Reyes ranging into the outfield. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Our score remains two to one. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. He's really throwing the ball well in this game. And the thing to me that stands out is that two seamer. He's got great movement and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. Skied into straightaway right. Caesar is under this one. One down. Now batting. Right here. Here's your one assessment. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching here. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time, two and two. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Another hit, another multi-hit game. He has been on some kind of hot streak. They better the start paying attention Catcher. to him. Travis Darno. Standing in now, Travis Darno. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well it's two and one now and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet as a hitter you've probably got to sit on that right now takes a look down at the knees for a strike
hit hard on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Well, that's a tough one right there. If that ball's at somebody, probably a double play. But as a result, it's one of those seeing eye singles, just found the hole. In now, David Wright as he lets it in the air to right field. Moving under it, Caesar. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter, first baseman. Stepping in and ready for another shot, TJ Rivera. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Three and one. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. He's set and the three and one pitch. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Here's Juan Ligares. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lackey ready with the one two pitch two and two. to two balls and two strikes now he went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2 but now that they both missed I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here you don't have to give in but you there can't you be too cute either started to go did he hold up in time yes says the first base umpire it's ball three now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. One run is scored. And the run is in to score from second, and it's a four to one game. No runs are scored in the inning. You got two strikes on the hitter, two outs, and you feel like you're going to get out of this thing. You're one pitch away, and the pitch ends up being a base hit to drive into. He's got to be so frustrated by that. Into the box, Robert Gesellman. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And it looks like the Cubs will get a left hander up and working out of the bullpen. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. In there, two and two. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two down, runners at first and second. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Almost big trouble there, but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets four and the Cubs one. Ready for another chance? Chris Bryant, he singled his last time up. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Tapper up the line, but that one rolls foul. Another 2 2 offering. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready on two balls and two strikes, here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Bryant around first, heading for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy. And ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. And this is fouled back and out of play. One run, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. 
Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he starts looking for it in there. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. And he's trying his hardest to help his guys get back in the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. Stepping in now, Kyle Schwarber. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rivera coasts under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he just misses with a curveball. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for the Cubs. They trail it four to one. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. Takes a good curveball at the knees. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. Now it's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Calling for it, Schwarber, one down. The shortstop number 13. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Hit hard towards center. In is Jay, but this ball's in front of him for a base hit. You throw a ball down the middle, you better start ducking right when you release the it. He took it right 30, back at him. Hit it Michael where it's thrown. Conforto. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Drilled on the ground is short. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. Well, that base hit right there gives him a nine-game hitting streak. Yoannis Cespedes. Brett Anderson is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Brett Anderson. Yoannis Cespedes. Will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So, whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try it again, three and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He's set. Here's the three and two. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here comes the payoff pitch. And the runners again are off here. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Caesar is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. The relay, throw back to second, and that's a double play. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets four and the Cubs one. 
digging in Matt Caesar he'll get his side started in the inning and Dan so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning boy they sure have that they came out of the gates and got hot right away but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared we'll see if they can wake it back up chopped weakly to the left throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. And it appears as though we'll see a pinch hitter now as the switch hitter Ben Zobrist has grabbed a bat and moved into the on deck circle. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Boy, that's a good pitch right there. The old, old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music up and in. See if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. Throw gets him now two bang. down. Second Stepping bank. into the box, Jamal Weeks. Weeks. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Back to him, and oh, that's off his leg. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Mets lead this one four to one. You're Fernando Rodriguez takes over to start the, the sixth Cubs. inning on the mound. Number 33, Fernando. Rodriguez. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Travis Darno. A hit in two tries so far. Fastball here misses low, and it's back to even now at two and two. And here's a curveball looked at strike three called and that's the first out of the inning. David Wright will dig in again and as he does we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two run homer that was a big blow early on. Four runs eight hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Ready with another 2 2. Back up the middle. Russell has it. Pro to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Now batting. First baseman. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. In for strike two. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three as they hold on to a four to one lead. In now is John Jay. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. The pitch. Swing and a high pop up to the left side. Right is there for it. One away. Now about it. Ready for another chance. Addison Russell. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Sixth inning. 4 to 1 is our score. And the changeup just missed the inside corner.
Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now. Grounded fouled off to the left so they'll do it again. The two two one more time. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Conforto is over. He's got it and there are two down now. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Here's Chris Bryant now. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. He gets another hit, his third hit of the game. Now he's been ice cold the plate recently, so maybe we're seeing signs of him coming out. Ready for another shot now, Anthony Rizzo. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Cubs strand one and this is still a four one ball game. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Koji Uehara is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Koji Uehara. Digging in and looking for more Juan Ligares. One for two on his line so far in the game. One and two, here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Now batting, the pitcher, Robert. Gesellman. Ready once again, Robert Gesellman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Nope. And that misses two and one. Two ball, one strike. Gets the sign. Here comes the two one. Liner towards second, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. The batter number seven, second baseman. Digging Jose in once again, Reyes. Jose Reyes. In his career versus this pitcher, a number of meetings, he's one for seven. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. He pulls this one into right. Caesar will get there and he puts it away to Ladies retire the side it's time for down the in order go the Mets but they lead it four to one <sighs> digging in to try it again Kyle Schwarber 0 for 2 on his line thus far One and two now as this catches the outer half. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. Dribbled to the right side. That rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. And that swung on and fouled straight back. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. Got him. 
That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. In now, Wilson Contreras. And this is fouled back and out of play. Line drive snagged on a short hop on to first, and there were two down. Now batting. Right Riding in once again, Matt, Matt Caesar. Caesar. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Hit hard on the ground to first. Rivera scoops it up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. They trail it 4-1. to one. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. It was a single for him in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Looking up is Contreras gone to lead off the inning. Solo shot to right center number 17 for him on the season as they stretch the lead to five one. Yeah, and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here, but with a four-run lead, it could be a non-save situation. So they might get the rest of their closer the rest of the day. Four runs feels awfully good. Base is empty here with nobody out. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. As he sends it on the ground to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now Settling in now, Joanna Cespedes. His career numbers in this matchup, one for six. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line towards center field. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Well, that's his third hit of the night, and are you surprised? That's three singles. Now sits three for four with three singles. Not a bad night. Darno. Into the box, Travis Darno down the third baseline, scooped up on the backhand. Back to Rizzo, and they get out of it here. A double play to retire the side. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more from Wrigleyville right after this. You're Seth Lugo plate. is on to pitch now out of the bullpen the in the bottom match. half of the eighth. Number 67, Seth Lugo. Tommy LaStella will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The next 3-2. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3-2. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The batter, number Stepping eight, into the box, Jamal Weeks. Jamile he started out the evening Weeks. 0 for 2 so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. In now is John Jay. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. 
even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets five, and the Cubs one. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on the show. Great to have you with us from Chicago as the ninth is set to please. get underway. Now Justin Grimm enters from the pen to start the ninth two. inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping into the box, David Wright. He's working on a one for three thus far. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Caesar going back, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost okay, got by him. But he's able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right handers begun to get loose. Now a look and a throw back to second. Don't want to forget about him. A runner at second nobody out. Into the box now T.J. Rivera and this is taken for a called strike. Oh that's a tough call now one and two. Hit to short. Russell's got it. One away. Into the box now. One Ligaris. He went down on strikes last time up. One and one. Here it is. Curveball that time. Not even close. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead fastball is looked at for strike two he's ready with the 2 2 pitch oh now this is hit hard to the right side but caught out there at second base as he'll hang on here to record the second out. The pitcher. Ready now, Seth Lugo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Wright is on his way home. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Mets leave one. They're up five to one. So striding forward now, Addison Russell. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. The one-two pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. One out, nobody on. Hit hard to the right side, but foul, so we'll see if he can straighten that out. A payoff pitch one more time. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Cespit is going back. Solo 
shallow shot here to straightaway right field. Number 31 for him on the season. And it's now a 5-2 game. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Stepping in now, Anthony Rizzo. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses its ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt him. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him. And he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. In now, Wilson Contreras. Now a slider misses, and that pushes the count to three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 5-2 the final score tonight. Robert Gesellman earned his ninth win of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs, 12 hits, no errors. Center field, NCRT on the run, still going on the way to track at the wall. He got it! NCRT caught it on the wall, and the Braves have beaten the Mets. Incredible catch to save the game, and the Braves have stunned New York tonight. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. Lolo.